Hey everybody, this is Conf Mental with another episode of Attack of the B-Team, the mod pack from Technic. And, uh, well, I have finally got myself something to live off of. I'm a tomato guy. I live off tomatoes. It is my food of choice now. Because I have no other choice. But seriously, I, I do like tomatoes. Tomatoes are tasty, so I'm I'm not hating on it. And like honestly, I just didn't want to live off bread or carrots or something that's already in regular Minecraft because well, that's 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 friggin' boring. We need to live off something that's in the mod. Am I right? Tomatoes are something from the uh, Food Plus mod, so that's what we're going to eat. We also can't eat mutton now, because although it is something from the mod, as of Tuesday, mutton is actually something in Minecraft, so I, I, I don't want it. I don't want it! But we also have some, some of these guys, some coffee bean things, and we got berries, blueberries. Yeah, we can live off berries, guys. Look at that. Berries are delicious, right? Who doesn't love berries? Who doesn't love berries? I dare you to defy me. Good work, Muki. Guard the base. So, I love this statues mod. The statues mod is absolutely excellent. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're all mukey muke. All of them are mukey. So I've done a little expansion to the house, as you can see. Just a little sitting area. Some some racks and all that good stuff. It's kind of fun. Got the guns. And Actually, I had this one. Let's give it to... Oh! Oh! <laughs> and you may be wondering, Hey, Kampf, what the hell is that in your hand? What did you just kill that skeleton with? Don't worry about it. That's We're going to talk about that in today's episode. Hello. Hello, the Muki. Muki Muki. And, no, there you go, there you go. All right then, uh, change back to normal, oh, that always hurts. So this is what we're going to talk about today. I've gotten into some of that Tinka's Construct stuff. Oh yeah, so. You will, when you first make some of this uh, seared brick stuff, you're going to get this book. And it'll teach you how to make the thing. And I'm not going to give a tutorial on that. I was going to do it, but it was really confusing and jumpy aroundy. And I'm not, I'm not the type of guy you want to learn something like that from. It just, it's just digging yourself your own grave. So we're going to talk about crafting, though. That's something I can definitely help you with. So you get these books, which are cool books. They teach you stuff and like how to make certain things and all that. It's really cool. Um, obsidian tool rod. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Anywho. So what we're gonna do. I'm going to make myself a mega pick with this, uh, man, man, that's the right stuff, right? The man, cobalt and argite. Yep. That's it. Okay. So you make your cast and you have yourself a tool. Oh yeah. But really quick, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's kind of a lot of steps you have to do to do the thing that I just did. So what you'll first want to do is put sticks and planks in this position. That's going to give you a blank pattern. 
what you want to do with the blank pattern is take it over to the stencil table here put it in here and pick the pattern that you want for right now I'm going to go with um, I'm gonna go with Ooh, broad axe. Scythe, excavator, large blade, hammer, bowstring. Bowstring, what? Fletching, arrowhead. Okay, we're back to where we started. Oh well, uh, we'll make an axe, okay? And and we'll make we'll make this one something too. Let's also make a why not a shovel? A sword blade thing. Okay, why not? Why not, right? So, after you make that, you're going to want to go to the part builder. You want to put your axe here, and let's put the shovel here, too. And... Wait, maybe you, don't, maybe you can't do two at once. Um... Oh no. <laughs> I thought I figured it out. You know what? No. I made I make it from wood. That's what that's what I did. That's what I did before. Okay. So you put the axe, put wood. There you go. Now let's make the uh sword blade. And let's make the shovel head. Okay, cool. Now, what you want to do is we're going to take our things, put it right there on the casting table. You want to select aluminum, brass, or gold. Pour it on over there. Oh, it's so cool. I feel like a real dwarf. And boom, axe head cast. And now we can actually pour metals into these things to make our tool heads. See? Let's do the same thing with the sword blade. And bam! And now what you do, you put the item head that you want in there. You're going to pick the material you want to make it out of. I'm going to pick... Let's pick cobalt, if that works. And now I got a cobalt axe head. Okay. So anyway, now you need you can do the same things and get yourself the rest of the tool the pieces that you need cuz you don't just need the head. I have taken the liberty of going ahead because I don't want to show the same thing over and over. You make all the other pieces the same way. Then you want to go to the tool forge or to or to tool builder. Pick your item. We have a manulium pickaxe head, the cobalt tool rod and a cobalt binding. And now we have this pickaxe, which is the one of the toughest metals in the game. The manubalum. The manubalum. The manubalum. Bum 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 manub. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just blabbering. Yeah, nothing I'm saying makes any sense at all. Anyway, now we're going to put it back in here. And we're going to modify the item. Okay, so you can add stuff like diamond, which increases the durability a lot. You can add stuff like, I don't think gunpowder does anything. No, it does not. You can add redstone. That adds a haste-like effect to it. So, let, so one thing I've been doing, this is a good trick you can use if you want. You have the, uh, that right there. Oh, I didn't fill that spot too. Okay, you fill all your spots, have it right below, and just... And this, if I'm not mistaken, this, the redstone, the haste, it, like, mirrors the effects of a, uh... 
of like a efficiency enchantment. Yeah, I'll do the rest. I'll do the rest later. It's not important. Um, but you can also put more stuff on it, and some of that more stuff is. For example, you can put Lapis Lazuli on it, and that, Lapis Lazuli, oh wait, wrong table, get out of there. Adding the Lapis Lazuli adds luck, which is like fortune, I think. Right? I think so. I really hope so. I hope it's uh, fortune and not looting. Or maybe it's both, come to think about it. But yeah, I'll do that off camera too. And then I think you can still add one more... Yeah, I can still add one more modifier to it. But I'm not sure what else I could add to it. I know I can add sharpness, but that's kind of pointless. I wonder if Ender Pearl adds anything. Oh, well, that's okay. Either way, this should be a pretty good pickaxe. Let's just test it really quick. Oh, yeah, that thing is fast. And this is my old Tinker's pick. It's already a tiny bit faster, and I haven't even added all the redstone to it. But yeah, that's what we did just now. That's pretty cool. Very good stuff. But now I have another thing in mind. And... Well, actually, let's make another tool really fast. Let's make the... What was I going to make? I was going to make myself the this axe. This axe head. Tool rod? What are we going to use? Let's use some... Let's use some more cobalt. We still got a little bit. Cool. And what kind of binding do we need for this sucker? Oh, we need one of these things too. Okay, that's fine. So axe head. It's a large binding, it looks like. Oh, we don't have to add those things? It'll probably make it better, though. Let's do it. Do I have one of those? The large tool thing? No, I don't think I do. Oh, that sucks. Mm, I got one of those. Nah, it's fine. I'll just be back with you in a minute. Okay, I'm about to make something fun. Don't pay attention to that. Okay, so I think it's like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Then like this and this and this. No. <gasps> ah! Yes. It's time to test a weapon. Who wants to be my target? Muki, do you? No, you're my target. That's what you get, sucker? That's what you get, sucker! That's what you get! Whoa! Yeah! Sorry, Mukies. I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. Now that's simply awesome. Hey, Piggy. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> Oh, this is the most ridiculous weapon I've ever seen. This this weapon should go on display right here. Yup. 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 And now, another mod that I really, 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 really like. Okay, so that over there is part of it. So, airships. You heard me right, airships. I said it. Airships. To make an airship, it all revolves around this one piece. This very, very, very important piece called the helm. The helm is important. Okay? Helm is important. It is the most important. Okay, so. The helm is what steers and controls the whole sucker. Okay. And we're just going to make ourselves a floating platform with which to watch over our minions. Don't worry. Eventually, I, I, I fully intend on making myself a super hardcore, awesome airship. Okay? So, don't you worry. Airships are awesome, and I love them. Okay, so. Anyway, let's change into a bat for this crafting. So that nothing can get at us. Nothing will be able to hurt us if we are a bat. And this thing needs to come out a little more. Okay. So. The helm, we're going to put it right here. That is not the helm. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the helm is going to be right here. And actually, come to think about it, we're going to want to put a seat, because otherwise you look awkward. Passenger seat is, okay, just the wool in that shape. Okay, and this is simply, this is unnecessary, but I need it, because you kind of... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I don't think it attaches to a... Uh... Back up. Oh no. I really messed up. <laughs> Die. Oh no, I don't like it. This is bad. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, so this time I built it ahead of time. <laughs> I'm going to add everything, and then the helm last. Okay, so really quick, so you know, the way you make the balloons is wool, string, balloon. I said balloon. There you go. Okay, that's how you make them. <clears throat> the balloon is. They're not very hard to make at all. Okay, so, what do we want to add to this thing to make it look cool? We're going to want to add... Oh, you know what we need to add? We need to add this thing. Okay, so, two gold there, two iron there, one redstone here, and then glass. That's the word, glass. What? Wait. 
Maybe the gold's on top. What am I doing? How do you make this thing? Those are pains. I'm stupid. Come, on, stop calling yourself stupid. No. <laughs> okay, so that will do it. That's what we want. Let's try that again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh huh. Okay, so measurement gauge. This gives us readouts that will help us fly. They are important. So I put them right here. Very important stuff. All right, and now we're going to want to make another helm and a seat. Okay, so the seat right here. And the helm, the dot. No, I need need more sticks. More sticks. Okay. Ooh, storage crate. Cool. All right. So, but first, we're going to place the balloons so that we don't screw up. There we go. Now you. Hup. Hup. There we go. And you. Cool. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn into bats again. So we can place these balloons a little easier. Yeah, I know, I know. The shape looks kind of stupid. But I'm hoping this number of balloons will be enough to raise us up off the ground. Oh no, wait. I should probably not even try it, honestly. But you know what I will do? I'll show you how the flying machine works with this thing. Now that we, I showed you how to build it, and now I'll show you how to fly it. Okay, so this is the flying machine Mach 1. Click the helm. As you can see, I'm sitting at the helm, but the seat is so that it doesn't look stupid. Obviously, this would look stupid if the seat wasn't here. You press space. You press space. What's going on here? Did I press the wrong thing? What's going on? Uh, yep. Nope. It's not working. Something. I don't know what happened. An update or something. But that ain't going nowhere anymore. This one is going to need a lot of balloons. It's very disappointing, too. Because now I have two useless ships just sitting here that I can't use or do anything with. But, dubstep gun. <laughs> You see, if this was the explosive dubstep gun, that creeper would have just made me destroy my house. It's the greatest gun ever, man. I think it just uses like one redstone every time. Does it even? I don't know. It didn't look like it used any ammo. Very cool. Okay. Well, that's disappointing about the ship thing, huh? 
I guess we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just talk more about the Archimedes ships next episode. But they're cool, aren't they? And eventually, I'm gonna make a big airship, too. Redstone head! Did I not get it? Did it not count? I'm sad. Alright, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll keep making the good videos for you. Love y'all. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.